<laughs> we're live on the internet! And Steve is feeding the dogs. And I'm tweeting that we're live on the internet. Welcome to this Thursday night stream. Tonight's stream, we're going to be playing two player games that we brought back from Essen. Well, some of these we had prior to Essen. Uh, some of these... Shovel sh sh dudes are... I think... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, this one is... I don't remember when this came out. But I love it. Um, and we haven't streamed it, so I put it in the pile. Oh, I love Circle the Way. I know, it's so good. It's uh, so good. It's so, 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 so good. Shadows in Kyoto officially came out at Gen Con. But I, but I didn't get my copy until Essen because I foolishly did not pre-order it in time to get it at Gen Con. So, yeah. Anyway, tonight we're playing, well, we're playing hopefully a bunch of these, and chat is going to pick what we play next. But this video, this stream, is starting with claim. Ah. This is a two-player only trick-taking game designed by Scott Alms. And Scott Alms is one of my favorite designers. Hi, Scott. <laughs> It's also one of my favorite designers. Okay. I think Scott might now be afraid of us. Um, yo, Meeple's Academy, a.k.a. Rich Fry. Thank you for adding your name, because I just keep calling you Meeple's Academy. But anyway, um, Claim is a two-player trick-taking game. It released at Essen from White Goblin Games, and I picked up a copy. I, like, pre-ordered it, and I was the first person to pick up a copy, and they were, like, not used like it confused them because I was picking up in like the early press release exhibitor pickup time period and I was getting the new hotness from them which was Montana which will be streaming at some point designed by Rudy Dorn and I was like oh also I pre-ordered Claim and they were like you what and I was like Claim the two-player trick-taking game from famed designer Scott Holmes and they were like okay <laughs> um so yeah, but like I didn't really hear a lot of things about this game um, prior to the show, and I didn't really hear a lot of things about the game coming out from the show, so I was kind of like, oh, maybe it's not good. And then Steve pulled the Steve and stubbornly learned the rules, and then like wouldn't let me play anything else with him until we played this, and it turns, out, and turns out it's really good, and I really like it. And so that's why I was like, we're going to play it first, because more people will see us tweeting about it on the East Coast, and maybe they'll come and watch it before they go to bed. So, it's two-player tricking taking game. There are two player aid cards <laughs> in the game. Um, and otherwise, the deck is um, all just one deck. So mm -hmm. that's kind of all that's in the game. Yep. Um, and there are, in the deck, there are five suits, and the suits are factions of different creatures because the story is is that the king is dead and no one knows how nobody knows why nobody really cares the, all, he was all, well loved yeah the only reason we care that the king is dead is that there's now a vacancy on the stone throne for um a new king and we have to figure out who that new king is going to be it's either going to be steve and i and it's going to be one of us and the way the new king is decided is what? This wasn't that the plot to that like Starlight movie? Stardust. Or... Stardust. Yeah. yeah. This is basically. But the we're plot. not siblings. Yeah. Because that would be weird. We're... Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's not exactly the plot to Stardust. Hey Angela. Um. So the king is dead, and basically we're gonna play this game. Us playing this game is us like setting up deals and manipulating the various factions of the realm, so that at the end of the game we can win the vote of the creatures in the realm and whoever has the most votes wins because there are five um, races or species in the realm. Uh, in theory, there shouldn't be any ties. Right, and each each faction of the five factions is going to give one vote. So we're basically competing over five, five points between yeah. us. And what that means in a game mechanics standpoint is we're going to be playing uh, the game with a very interesting trick-taking, like, mechanic and I it's trick taking a la I mean it's very different from Fox in the Forest, which is another two player mm -hmm. trick taking game that came out um by Joshua I don't know how to say your last name earlier this year. This is very different. I like both differently. 
for different reasons. Um, and in this game, we're doing the trick-taking mechanic to gain um, cards. At the end of the game, we score cards, and whoever has the most of each suit will score that suit's point, and there are only five points possible. So, what are the suits? Well, ha, what a funny, funny thing. The first suit that came up on top is the knight, who's wearing a suit of armor. Ha, 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 ha. Oh. <coughs> so there are knights, zombies, dwarfs, goblins, and doppelgangers. And doppelgangers are sort of like wilds, because they can become whatever the other player played if they are played second. If they're played first, they're just doppelgangers. And each faction has a unique ability. And I think the best way to learn these abilities is to see it in action. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to worry about teaching it. Um, so the game yeah. happens in two phases. In the first, well, not even phases, two, I guess it's phases. Yeah, they call it phase one, phase two okay. in the rules. Yeah, so there's two phases. So what you will do in the first phase is I have pretty thoroughly shuffled this. And then we're going to deal, each of us, 13 cards. And that will be our first hand. And we're going to play two phases, one hand for each phase. But here's the fun one. The hand, so we use the hand that we're dealt in the first phase of the game to pick up cards, which will be our second hand in the second phase of the mm -hmm. game. So the first hand is completely random, deterministic, you know, and then the second phase, you have some control over what you put in the hand to play, that's 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, so for the second phase of the game, you do have some control over what you play um, to help you gain more cards. So, during the first phase of the game, we're gonna play it here in a second after Steve distracts the dog some more. <laughs> um, what we're gonna do is whoever is leading, which is the youngest player because they can't come up with more original reasons to go first, I don't know. Um, but, I don't feel like that is good enough. Let's just really let's just get up close and personal today, folks. Maybe not personal. Maybe just up close. Um. So, da da da, fixing the focus. I think the focus is actually maybe fine. I just want to make sure you all can see the suits. The art is pretty cute. Each um, number is unique in each faction. So it's kind of cute. Boop, boop, there we go. Okay, so whoever goes first is the youngest and what's gonna happen is they're going to flip the top card of the deck over. And this is the card that they're competing for. So this one is a goblin and it's a three and you totally can't see it. I need to replace these bulbs. Can you turn that light on? Let's see if that helps. Just add more light to the problem is the solution. It's okay, I have a light. Oh God. If you can't see the numbers. Uh, if I decrease this, which never works. Doesn't work. I mean, you can leave it there, that's fine. What's done is done. All right. So we're going to fight over the three. So we're going to look at our hands. And I'm the youngest, so I go first. I'm going to play a card, and that card is going to be leading the hand. So Steve has to play the same suit as me unless he can't. Okay? And if he can't, he can play whatever he wants, but I still win the hand. Mm -hmm. If he can... Whoever plays the higher card will win this card. The cards that you played will go in your discard. This card will go in my my hand pile for next round. And then Steve will get a the next card, which is below that, face down. So I won't know what it is, but he can look at it. So we might also 
be trying to lose so we get a better card out of the deck, which is yeah. something I didn't really get until we had played our first yeah. game. So that's how that's going to work. There is one exception, and that is... There's actually two exceptions. The suit powers. So if I were to play a goblin, which I don't have to, even though that's a goblin, if I were to play a goblin, no matter the number or the value of that goblin, if Steve were to play a knight immediately after I played the goblin... He would kill my goblin, yeah. and so he would win. And the only way to do that is if I have no goblins, because I am forced to follow suit. Yep. The other trick is that in this first phase, uh -huh. if one of us plays a zombie, uh, one of the undead, whoever wins the trick will get any undead that were played and puts it in their score pile. The score pile becomes significantly more important in the second phase, but this is the only way to gain points during the first phase of the game, is to win hands that have undead or zombies in them. Um, and the doppelganger, also the doppelgangers, you can play... In... I kind of already said that. Oh yeah, okay, you can yeah. play them instead of the suit. But that's yeah, the if you play them second, of... they match, whatever you want. But if you play them first, they are a doppelganger, so the other player has to play a doppelganger. Yeah. Cool. Alright, let's do this! That's the back of the box. There we go. I want the front just on camera so people can see. All right. Um, if only these cards were bigger, like tarot size. The art is pretty it is, good. The art is pretty amazing. I was like, we don't need player cam tonight. But now I'm like, ooh, if we had, I could be showing off my art. Actually, some games, we did the 4K as the top down. I'm going to do the really one cool. goblin. <sighs> yep. I'm going to do... The zero. The zero goblin, which is really freaking cute. It's the baby. It's, yeah. Yeah. There you go. He's the yeah. baby goblin. The one is, as far as I can tell, sitting in the furnace. Like, he's just sitting in the furnace. So, yeah. But I win the three! Who looks unsure about that? And Steve wins this one, which I don't get to see. These are discarded. Oh, and it doesn't go into my hand because no, that is that's cheating. super cheating. Okay, um, so okay, is it, because I won, I get to go next. One of them is face up and one of them is face down. I think score pile is face up and then thing you won is face down because, yeah, you're not supposed to know it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I won that trick, so I get to go first again. And it's a seven. It's a goblin seven. With, oh, it's a whole bunch of, like, boils or something. I thought it was a cool bandana. <laughs> You no, know, that yeah. that should be looked at, yeah. sir. We're not going to hold that one up to the camera. No, I really want to because it's really... So what you think is a beard of like cool things is actually just his neck, which has a whole bunch of boils on it. Yeah. Um, there's, uh, so there's that. Maybe maybe one of those infomercial soaps or uh, washes. Or something. Maybe yeah. just anything. Like literally anything. All right. I'm going to play my awesome, so awesome I'm showing it off, what? my Undead 8. Well, you're Undead 8, my Undead 3. Yep. And because they're undead, I score them, and I win this goblin! And Steve wins that. I don't know what it is. I don't care. Next up is a 2. A dwarf. Bless you. A 2 dwarf. Um, I hope you're happy and proud of yourself in this moment. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I guess I'll do that. It's a little baby goblin. I played a zero. Somebody texted me. And uh, if we tie the loser goes the loser loses and i think the only yes. way you can tie is with goblin zeros because those are the only ones that are multiplied in the deck everything else is unique um i'm actually going to play the goblin six um <clears throat> one of the reasons you might want a dwarf is in phase two the loser of a trick collects all dwarves played and scores them yep. so you actually don't want the really awesome dwarves necessarily oh hey look it's the n amazing Oh no, this was supposed to be mine. <laughs> you don't know what I have. All right, uh, it's a six dwarf. It's a dwarf of sixes and Steve's leading. Yeah, I wasn't gonna drink wine yet, but I might need to if he's gonna continue being so funny. Undead five. Mm. Undead five, undead five, undead one. 
You get both, and you get the dwarf. Dwarf, dwarf, dwarf. All right, I got both. There are just enough cards. Ooh, it's an eight goblin. There are just enough cards that when we finish going through the deck, that'll be end of phase one. And we'll each have a new hand of 13 cards to play. <laughs> oh, hello. No, we're out of Chewies. You ate them all. Eg's <laughs> like, Eg, Eg wanted to file a complaint. <laughs> did you? Oh, did you hear the c word? Did you hear the c word and just decided to be a part of the family again? <laughs> she just licked her lips. Um, we're out. We're out of the c word. I'm sorry, kids. And Steve played the nine dwarf. He really wants it, apparently. Here, have that zero. I don't score those, because that would be cheating as well. Ba -ba -ba -ba. It's the six of zombies. The six of undead. Oh, hush your butt. Did you, you had dinner. You'll get your pain pill in like an hour and a half. The do I love the doppelganger art. Yeah, the zero doppelganger is really cute. It's not going to focus. I mean, I'm not going to focus. You're not. You're not focusing currently. Um, I'm going to play this zero doppelganger. And you can have that on that six. I haven't been looking at what I've been winning, but it's cool. Undead zero. Just, goblin. <laughs> Just do a cute little undead goblin. It's cute. Uh, I well, I have to play that one, which means I win it. Boop. Oh, um, you were supposed to see that, right? Yeah. <gasps> it's the doppelganger mm. of eights. Mm. Seven, eight, nine. Um, I'm gonna do the eight of dwarfs. What? I can't help you, kid. I'll do the one dwarf. It's such a wonder. Mm -hmm. Seven nights. Hi. And how, but how many days is that? Get your butt down. Seven dwarf. It is the seven of undead. <clears throat> The seven of undead. Um, I think those are flies buzzing around seven undead's head. I mean, can you blame them? Our new windows are much warmer. I just. <laughs> mm hmm. We had new windows installed finally! So the blinds are open. Uh, so the internet can. The neighbors can see our internet show live. We should put like a little on air sign in yeah. the window. Yeah. Like one of the little uh -huh. pull chain ones. Yeah. That would be too cute. Yeah. That'd be something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Put it up and then see how long it takes you to do this. I'll just say it's our Christmas lights. That's right. Oh, maybe I'll make the words on air out of Christmas lights. We don't. I mean, you could. We don't have that many. I'm playing the three night. Steve played the five night. Which reminds me, I kind of want to see it's, the 12th night. It's the baby goblin. Do you want the baby goblin? No. You don't want the baby goblin? <laughs> it's so cool! It's a little goblin in training! Also, the five goblin, I think, is my favorite goblin. It's very, very excited. Very enthusiastic about life. <sighs> oh, the four dwarf? The four dwarf. Hmm... Dorf, 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 Six dorf, 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 dorf. Have we been grabbing the undead? That we haven't. There really hasn't been any. any. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the two doppelganger. So is it me? It's me. Yeah, it is you. Nine. You win. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this showdown. The nine of doppelgangers. The nine doppelganger versus... versus the night doppelganger. Yep. So Steve gets his last card. Um, our score piles stay where they are. And we and should have one, two, three, four. We five, should have thirteen six, cards. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I didn't cheat. Obviously. <laughs> um. 
And so now we play again, but now there's nothing to win except for the hand. So the winner will, instead of discarding the cards played, the winner collects the cards played, unless there are dwarfs in play, in which case the dwarfs will go to the loser of the hand. Yeah. And one thing I find that really makes it interesting in phase two is the fact that the face value no longer matters once it's in your score pile. It's just the number of quantity. cards. It's the quantity of cards. Yep. And that didn't really sink in until we were like scoring the first game, I think. And it was like, oh. Yeah. I was like, oh, I won all these really ca crappy hands with goblins. So I have a lot of goblins. So I won their vote. Oh, yeah, that was, that was how that worked. That okay. was the epiphany. <sighs> All right, so did I win the last one? I did, so I go first. Ugh, I hate going first. Wait. But... Yes, you did win the last one, because, yeah, I played the, the nine. He doubted me. He doubted me. That's what I do best. I'm doing the baby goblin. <gasps> baby goblin, so cute. Baby goblin, looking... Cute. Like he's gonna toot. Okay. And you play. Oh, I God, that's rhyme. not a cute one. I can't, that one's I gonna can't, barf. That I just one looks realized, like I it's can't, gonna barf. I can't rhyme cute with cute. That's... No. <laughs> Please remove that one from me. Uh, speaking of the goblin eight. That goblin eight so if, is three. If you were card counting, you would kind of remember what your opponent got, or but just the ones you know they won, which yeah. I think is interesting. Uh, is me again? Yep. Yep. The nine goblin, which, oh, I kind of want to show it off. This goblin is their logo. Is the white goblin goblin with some like extra arty. It's arty very nice. Yeah. Yes. Steve's a jerk. Steve's a jerk. He's really good at trick taking games. Steve's a jerk. <laughs> Steve will have the goblin vote, if you were wondering. I mean, will I? Go, it's your turn. Six dwarfs. Six of dwarfs, cool. I play the four of dwarfs, so I score them, but Steve won, so he gets to go first here. Yep. Six undead. Six undead. Six. Oh, undead. that one is holding its head. Next stop, Sleepy Hollow. Um, I'm gonna do. Maybe a Sleepy Hollow cosplayer. See, you encouraged him, and now he's just going crazy. That's what I do. It's a little safe, it's a bad zombie. Baby zombie. Baby zombie. Baby zombie. Nothing. The seven zombie! Mm, is mine now. Cool. Uh, two. At two, Brutus? At two, Kairos. Now it. Oh, the doppelganger vote. Giving me the doppelganger vote. Three. Let's keep eking it. Five. Two dwarf. Well, I play the two of zombies, which means I win the dwarf. Uh. Uh, <laughs> the three dwarf. Which means I play the four of zombies, which means I win the dwarf. Oh, right. You don't want to lead with those, do you? No, you really don't. No. Okay. Two night. Six night. Four night. It was my lead. Seven night. Eight night. Damn it! <laughs> I feel like that was a Sorry. mind game. Doppelganger 8. Oh. oh! All right, now we score. This is the fun part of the game. I mean, for some people, for other people, the fun part of the game was the playing part <laughs> when you like play the game. 
I probably won undead and goblins, but we shall see. Oh, I don't have any dwarves. You might have gotten it. Well, I definitely got dwarves. <gasps> I got dwarves. I got doppelgangers, oh. and I got the knights. Yep, you got it. Owen. Steve went really hard into goblins and or undead and goblins, but it didn't win I did, for me. I did yeah. mediocre at everything. Yeah. I was pretty even on all of them. Well, um, I think we were pretty yeah. close. I think, the, like, the thing I like about this game, there's definitely things you could do better, and it's there's a lot of, like, reading your opponent and trying to remember what happened and not doing really dumb plays, like playing dwarves out of the gate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, don't play your dwarves. I will say, this does seem like one you have to really shuffle well. Mm-hmm. Because you're scoring it by putting all the cards together. Mm-hmm. Hey, BG stats. I'm just gonna put. Some. Cool, but yeah. That was clay. That I. It was super fast. I am really oh, happy. I mean, we I taught and we played that in 26 minutes. I am really happy that both this and Fox in the Forest came out because they both do two-player trick taking in very different ways. Super different ways, yeah. Um. Boom. And even this because this isn't. It does have powers, but because they're pursuit, um, it feels a little less. Wait, what was that power again? The like fox in the forest. Like fox in the forest, I feel at least for me is well, a little more intense because you just have to remember the powers. No, you just read them. They're yeah. written under the. And card. there really aren't that many. Yeah, they're I know. I'm just saying bad. this. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying this has a different feel from fox in the forest. Mm -hmm. Because that one is about yes. like yeah. It has 100% a different feel. It's very... I, I like that. It's, um... Yeah. It... You can say it's a two-player trick-taking game, and uh, it does not feel overlap at all with Box in the Forest. I feel like they both do very well accomplishing the same thing. On that note, which would you prefer? Fox in the Forest was how many tricks you've won, right? Is yeah. who wins? Yeah. And I think one, I guess, minor complaint that I have about Fox in the Forest, and it's not big, but it's that you can maybe be like halfway through a round and realize there's no way you're going to win it. Um, because I think it's based on points. You just kind of have to play to the end of it. The points will go out and then you'll play the next round. Because um, I think I think that's right, right? Like, you, or if you're just not winning. Well, any, oh no, because it has the cool scoring. Yeah. If you like shoot the moon, you get a whole bunch of points. Yeah. Never the mind. scoring depends on how many tricks you win, so it's not it's not exactly that way, but yeah. um. And so if you win no tricks, you get a bunch of points. That's right. Never mind. That's not. I forgot how the game works. I actually really like that. Ignore everything I said. Okay. All right, thanks All right. for tuning in for a two-player stream. It looks like Tiffany's toast. No, just kidding. I'm not that bad. Do you want to play again, or do you want to play the next game? Oh. We have, like, I have a pile of five. We have five games that I, like, I pulled out. I actually really want to play this again, but I think we should go into the next game. Yeah? I, w I mean, I would I would just play I would just play five games of this. But yeah, I don't know. Let's I... whip one out really fast, because now that we're not, we're not teaching it, we can play it super fast. I I'm feel. down for that. Yeah. If I remember correctly, in Fox in the Forest, if you get a seven, you if it's if you win Fox, it's if you win the hand, the trick, you get mm -hmm. the seven. So not being dealt a seven isn't necessarily an issue because I've won sevens before from people that were foolish enough to play them, like to lead the the hand with them. So yeah, I also like the Fox in the Forest as the trump suit. Is this my thirteen cards? Nope. What do you doing? They bridge super nice. Mm -hmm. These are great cards. Super for easy game. to shuffle. I feel like. Okay, deal it. Come on. <laughs> you feel like your wife's addicted to games and 
is impatient for her next hit. Never felt that way at all. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. This feel, I don't know. My impression I have of this is that it would be a great bar or pub game for we two players. We played it at a bar. I don't know why that's your impression, because, like, we played it at a bar. Or no, it was a pub. And we enjoyed it quite thoroughly at said pub. So, is it no longer an impression? No, that's an impression. Just an opinion? Because we did it. I don't know. I, impression to me implies that you don't know yet. Like, it's like you feel like it would well, be Well, we only way. did it once. We did, tw- well, one bar, but we played twice or three times. We played a number of times. It's a good bar game. You want to go first? Because you lost? Yeah. Okay, it's the five of doppelgangers. You're the five of doppelgangers. Your mom's the five of doppelgangers. Let's... Starting with the, the four, four of dwarfs. dwarfs. Four of dwarfs. Four dwarf and five seven beers dwarfs. ago. Five of dwarfs. It's the four doppelganger. I swear we shuffled, officer. We did. Also, I just want to say, there's an, um, so the breakdown of cards, because some people care about that. Oh, I Mm. win it again. So, the breakdown of cards, hey, it's a zero, baby. There you go. Is there are 14 goblins, 10 dwarfs, 10 undead, 10 doppelgangers, and 8 knights. And so the goblins, there are five zeros. Yeah, they're more numerous than the knights. And yeah. the knights, there are less of them, but they skew higher. I think two is the lowest. Two, Yeah, two is the lowest. Uh, nine is the highest on every suit. Otherwise, uh, with the exception of the knights, there's it's zero through nine, with the goblins having more. Um... I'm gonna play that. Take them. I do take them. I take another little bit of your heart. You take that. Oh, I take the baby. I don't really care. Take the baby. Don't take the baby. Wow, that was bad. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. It's too late. It's too late. Take this card. Take this card. Your body wants it. I did something tactically dumb. All right, well, maybe improve it. Now what you gonna do, Kyrus? You're gonna lose again? Okay. Oh, cause you score the... Uh. <laughs> Tune in next time, folks. <laughs> Here, I'll give you a chance. I'll give you a chance. There you go. It's the two of knights. I give you a chance. I will say, from like across the table, the undead and the goblins have like really similar background colors. So in a low lit pub, it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, just in like how bright yeah. they are. And yeah. then the dwarf suit icon is not super great. Like I feel like they could have made the suit icons a little less. Did you get yours? Image and more iconic. Did you get yours? How many are we supposed to have? I have five. Oh, then that's yours. Okay. Well, that's different. Five night. Five night, five night, six night. Don't want it, but I'll take it. It's an undead too. Two, two. That's the one I should have played at that round. I really should have won. It's the eight doppelganger, mm-hmm. but I didn't. But I still won that, right? You did still won that. This is this is where it's terrible. Where now I only have these really amazing cards left, and everything is garbage. I can't choose to lose something because I've already got all my losing out. It's okay. You'll win. Schmackshay. Nine dwarfs. I have no dwarfs. 
I cannot lie. You other boys can't deny. I don't know why I'm singing that to that beat. But there you go. Why are you so angry with me? I didn't do anything. I'm boiling. Oh, God. We're tied. Let's see you in it. Oh, my God. You're welcome. You get that. What? No, you don't get chewies. Do I play? You have to. Mm, you win though. It en it ended with the nine doppelganger going up against the nine. Oh. Nine. Oh. Yep. All right. Steve, <laughs> Tiffany, maybe Steve can have some of your wine. <laughs> EG is staring me down. Very intently. Is there something yeah. she wants? There is something she wants. Does it start with the letter C? Yeah. Why did we teach your dog to spell? <laughs> EG does know how to spell certain words. Certain words. Certain words she knows how to spell. Yes. You're a very, very smart dog. Also, this is random. I was walking them to the mailbox today, and an undercover cop car stopped and rolled down the window, and I was like, oh no, something bad's happening in the neighborhood. And he was like, how old is your dog? And I was like, which one? <laughs> and he was like, the really cute one. And I was like, that one? No, the other one. Oh, okay. And he was pointing at Ichi, and so I told him. And then he was like, no, because she's nine, and she doesn't look nine. She looks like three or something because she's very healthy weight even though my mom would tell you otherwise um so yeah that was my random encounter with an yep. undercover cop in our neighborhood today <laughs> they're the undercover cops are really just undercover so that they can sneakily pet people's dogs that would do that's so the portland most th that's the most portland thing ever and it's probably very true you won the last hand we need to sleeve these because i'm already like it's jinged Okay, so now we're playing. The shuffle is nice. For the cards we play. Yeah. I sleep. I sleep. Fox in the forest. I feel like I should sleep these. And my new quiver sleeves that we All got right. when I got my new one, quiver. One dwarf. One dwarf. It's a wonder. One dwarf full hand. A zero dwarf. <gasps> what? There's a zero. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. Three dwarf. <laughs> I really want to play the two, but I don't have it. <laughs> Seven dwarf. Um, nine goblin. Zero goblin. Three goblin. Four goblins. Two undead. It is two undead. I am. I am two undead. Three doppelganger. Whoa! 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 And now you know the condition of my hand. Two goblin. One doppelganger. Four doppelganger. Zero goblin. One goblin. Zero goblin. Six goblin. Seven goblin, ha. Huh? Okay. Um. Eight night. Nine. Yep. Nine night. Six dwarf. Five doppelganger. Three undead. Yeah. Eight dwarf. <laughs> I think you won. Maybe. 
I think I won goblins and dwarves, and you won the rest. Yeah, I have too many goblins and dwarves. Yeah, you got it. Oh, let me actually put these on camera. Oh, wow. I have a lot of zombies. <laughs> Mostly from the first phase. Okay, so you win dwarves and goblins, and then I win knights, nice doppelgangers, doppelgangers, and undead. Yeah. yeah. Boom! That's clean! Designed by Scott Holmes again! Yeah, I, I would keep playing this all night. Yep. I'm like, let's go to the bar and play it. There's nobody in the chat anyway. Goodbye, internet. All right. That. No, oh, hey, oh, it was just what, Um, If you were watching last night, Charterstone, what did you think of Charterstone? If you were watching it in a non-spoiler. Although I guess I could spoil it in chat for the other yeah, people. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not, though. I think uh, Angela really liked it and is upset that she doesn't get hers until Christmas. We shouldn't say there's no one in She's chat. She's, like, repeated it on Twitter a couple times. She kept bringing it up in chat yesterday. She mentioned it in her video she released today about the game she acquired this month. I, think I mean... I think it's digging deep into her soul. I, I would say that it is it is worth anticipating, at least for me and for us. Yeah. All right. So, I'm excited to play again. Uh, Tony and... John are excited to play again. They were super happy to play. Apparently, John dreamed about it, and Tony thought about it today at work. I didn't at all. <laughs> I thought about it a little bit in that I had a lot of fun playing with my yeah. friends. Rich, okay. Rich is being harassed by his puppy. Rich, how old is your puppy? I'm just I'm trying to picture the level of harassment. It's the corgi puppy. <gasps> oh, it's the corgi puppy? Oh, well, that's adorable harassment, at least. Very, yeah. very persistent adorable harassment. Okay. Oh, okay. Could you just... I'm done. All right. So that was Claim. I like Claim. There's no Six-month-old corgi puppy. Wow, that is... Oh, yeah. That's probably some big years and some harassment related to getting fed. Um... And just also play with me. Play, play with me. Play feed me. with me. Yep, I'm bored. I'm okay. bored. I'm bored. Um, so this one you can't really see. It's Hatsuden. It's a two-player only game from a Japanese company where we are competing to provide power to power companies. Um, I don't know when it came out exactly, but we got it at Essen. <laughs> it was alongside Tokyo Highway from mm -hmm. the same publisher. Which we would have gotten Tokyo Highway and brought it back, but it is just very expensive and it's a game that I know that we wouldn't really play except for to pull out and show people that it's a cool game that they could play. So that's Have you ever played a game with tweezers and little wooden cars? Well and that's yeah. sort of we could sort of just make it with popsicle sticks and I mean, wooden dowels that we cut. Technically like, yes. If we handmade all the components we could. Yes. Um, but it was it was a lot of fun to play once, especially we played a three player, right? Yeah, we played with Sue's. It was fun. Yeah. I would play it again if somebody had a copy. It's just not something that we're gonna own, so it didn't make sense for us to pick one up. Um. Anyway, the other options that we have for the next stream would be Zulu Redo Duel, which is uh, just came out at Essen. It's from Abigus, Abigus Spiel, and I'm not sure who is going to be picking it up and doing it in North America, but I would not be surprised if it is Z-Man, um, or Rio Grande Games because they did Zulu Redo. I think Rio Grande did Zulu Redo. Yeah, Rio Grande did Zulu Redo, so maybe they will do that one. I don't know. Um, or we have Shadows, oh, more about it. It's a, um, Zuloretto and Colorado. That whole Leto family has a really interesting mechanic where it's kind of like you split, I pick, or it's weird. You cut, I choose. But it's, like, yeah. different than that, and it's better. Um, and so this just kind of builds on that, so it's somewhat similar to, like, um where you're trying to have the majority of certain types of animals and there's other ways to get points. And, and yeah. we have always enjoyed the Zuloretto Apoletto Coloretto games two player. Mm -hmm. And some of the I like I cut you choose games aren't always fun two player, but that because it's a you know, it's a different mechanic. Whatever, always always fun two player. Yeah, well and this I played it, I enjoy it a lot two player. I enjoy it I think more than Colorado or Aqualotto or Zuloretto two player because it's specifically designed for it and it does some interesting new stuff. So that's that. 
Then we have Shadows in Kyoto. Want to play that so badly. So this is sort of like Stratego-esque where you have the meeples that um, you can see the number value of the, your meeples, but the opponent can't. And one person is playing as the cops and the other people is playing as like the underground agency, crime agency that's trying to get away with stuff. Um, and so the, there's a couple win conditions, like getting to the other person's main base or killing their main person. Um, but you have like special power people that can do things and move around and yeah. So it's that one. Uh, I've played it twice. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna have to like refresh the rules on that one before we play. But that would happen in the in-between times of the stream, so there's that. Then we have Circle of the Wagons, which came out I don't even know how long ago. But it's from Button Shy Games, and I love this game, and Steve loves this game, and I'm counting it as we got it at SN because we actually, sorry, Ichi's just going to town on the carpet right now, just rolling around. Hey, don't rub your face too hard, please. It's expensive. <laughs> shit, shit, it's really sad. Um, um, I vote we play that last because it is so good. It's so good, and it's very quick, and we, so we play it pretty quick. Um... But I'm counting it as an Essen release because we were in Essen and uh, playing it because it was before the show and one of the few games we had. And somebody was like, oh, it's the only one I don't have from Button Shy. And I was like, do you just want our copy and then I'll buy another one? And, and Button Shy was like, you don't have to buy another one. I'll just give you one. So if we played this, it would sort of be sponsored. Um, so yeah. We sold our Circle of the Wagons for free. We gave it to that guy for free because he brought us a bunch of beer, which was super awesome. Thank local, you. Local beer. Yeah, that local beer. And so we gave him our Circle of Wagons, and then Button Shy gave us a new Circle of Wagons. So it's from Essen, even though it's not. <laughs> and it's not the copy that went to Essen, but that's okay. It did, it, it, yeah. No, oh, that's oh, not no, the yeah, one that went to, Essen. went to Essen. Yeah. yeah, that one stayed there. Okay. So I think the only, I think Rich is the only one in the chat right now to vote. At a keyboard. I know Angela was here, probably went out. Steve wants to play Zula Red Joel. Yep. Is that your vote? Yep, that's my vote. Okay. I think uh, Rich also voted for that, so unless somebody else votes or something else, we're just gonna play that. Cool, we're gonna play Zula Red Duel, which won't be available in America for I don't know how long, I'm sorry. But by the time it is available, you'll be able to know. You already know if you want it. Yep. So there's that. That's the nice thing. You're the All nice right. thing. So if you are hanging out in the chat and you haven't been um, with us for one of these before, Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to shut down the stream. We're going to change the title of the video. Um, oh, oh, no. That's okay, Angela. We know you're here. And and we care for you still. Um, that sucks. sucks. Sorry that she people She just had a rough game night group dynamic situation. Um, yeah. So, if you are... I'm familiar. If you're watching this live, if you just hang out in the chat, um, we'll be uh, back online in like however long it takes me to open a new bottle of wine um, and pour a glass. And then we'll be back to play Zulero Duel. If you're not watching live, if you're watching this in the future, go ahead and click over to the video, which is someplace um, for Zulero Duel if you want to watch Zulero Duel. And if you don't want to watch Zulero Duel, that's cool. Go watch whatever else you want to watch. Do you want to go watch? That? It was, it was, no, it's over there. Do you want to go watch one of those? That one looks good. Thank you. YouTube thinks you should watch that. You should watch There's that. There's a chance. If that one's the one that I think it is, that's one of my favorites. Why have you watched that? Hmm? Why have you watched that? Because, uh, you know. Oh, okay. All right, we'll be my, back. My blue police box is larger on the inside. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we need to... I need to get him to Doctor Who. Okay. We will be back in a moment for Zoo the Road of Duel. Good night, Internet. That was for two for duel.